What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are down at New Jersey Diesel Repair and Performance. Uh, well, we're, I guess we're not at their shop, we're at a track. Track is closed, so there's no racing footage. But uh, obviously it is a cold one out here with all the snow, but the event still happened. We had a blast, very well run event. Uh, highly, if they do this again next year guys, I highly recommend it because again, it's just very well run. I absolutely had a blast out here. Tons of cool truck, tons of trucks making some big power, some trucks making not so much power, some trucks in between. So we've had a little bit of everything around here. Anyway guys, so last chance really to get those guesses. I'm going to start the footage with my truck and then I do have some other footage from other trucks running on the dyno. Hopefully you can hear me, it's a little noisy still, but, and the truck's warming up because I'm about to head home, but I hope everyone enjoys this video. Again, let's see those comments down below, and if you enjoy this content, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, guys. I'll see you in a little bit.
My rim, my new wheels are dirty. Not happy about it. But they do make me happy. It's kind of my silver lining to my bad dyno performance. Anyway guys, so by now you all saw how the truck did. Uh, a little disappointing, but I'm not the first person to get hurt on the dyno and I'm certainly not going to be the last. So this just means to hit our 600 horsepower goal with this truck, we need our bigger injectors, which we know in a bigger turbo either way. So those two things are coming to this truck. The truck ran good. The guy running the dyno even said, he goes, your truck runs really, really well. So I know it's, I don't believe it's anything there. We'll give the truck a once over, but at the end of the day, I picked a very conservative injector with stock nozzles and up high, I'm definitely limiting myself. Um, the truck runs really, really strong. That sounded like it just did some pretty good numbers down there. But anyway, the truck still runs great. I have no issues there. I am gonna reflash the tune here before I leave. I'm just letting the truck warm up and uh, more importantly, heat up in there because it is cold out here. Well, YouTube, I hope you enjoyed all the dyno footage and now I wanna take a moment and talk about one of the results from my truck. I'm gonna show you the dyno graph I have lying behind me and we're gonna talk about some ideas of what I think happened here because you don't have a truck as heavy as mine run a 13.6 and only make 460. Now I'm not saying the dyno's inaccurate, not at all. In fact, he clearly knows what he's doing. This isn't his first rodeo at running the dyno. And uh, after thinking about it, the truck doesn't feel quite the same either. So I believe his dyno to be accurate. I'm not saying that at all. And we're gonna talk about what I think might be happening a little bit with the truck. Now, I am sure this is hard to see. Um, I'm not sure how much of it's coming up on camera, but so from here, these three lines here are horsepower and these three are torque. So what I wanna say, what I like about our horsepower is we're holding over 400 horsepower starting at about two and a half, you know, 2,500 RPM all the way out until the end of the run we are over 400 horsepower in the truck i like i just think that's pretty impressive that we're holding our relatively close to peak horsepower that far obviously it's not peak horsepower because it is 60 off or 50 off depending on the pool but i did think that was pretty neat that we're able to you know we obviously jump up really quick here and at 2500 rpm this truck really comes alive now for torque, we're in the mid 800s to low 900s on this dyno, and that's coming in around two and a half. Is uh, we're hitting peak torque, so we're hitting some pretty good torque <clears throat> on this last pull or on the on the second pull. We're hitting at the start of the pull. We're at 500 pound-feet of torque at the start of the pull, and it just climbed. By the time we hit 2,000 RPM, we're at about 750 uh, pound-feet of torque. So I think that's pretty impressive, too. Again, obviously, torque, we're, come, we're falling off much greater after we hit our peak. You know, we only hold a pretty respectable number for about maybe 1,000 RPM. But now I will say in a diesel, obviously a thousand RPM is actually a fair amount, but. So anyway, I wanted to show you guys the dyno so you guys see it. I don't believe I ever did that in the last time I went to the dyno. It's a shame I didn't because it'd be cool to compare the two and see how they did. The other thing I want to talk about is obviously those of you guys that have been following the channel are probably a little bummed. I know I'm a little bummed. Um, again, I'm not the first person to get hurt on a dyno and I won't be the last, but this was a fun event. So that's the that's the takeaway guys yeah you had fun stuff doesn't perform the way it's supposed to all the time you just gotta go back to the drawing board and figure out what's happening so as far as the truck goes obviously we have i know i held good fuel pressure i do have a fuel pressure gauge in there i did find a little bit of a tear in the hose that goes to my map sensor which could cause a little bit of issue so I did get that fixed today. I did get a fresh oil change today. I meant to do that before the event, but just have had too much going on to get that done. That being said, an oil change isn't gonna make up the difference of my 100 horsepower I was hoping to do better. Well, realistically, I was hoping for more like 80 more than I did, but anyway, I digress. 
So going back to the other options, some things to consider guys is we have a really old transmission at this point that's handling a lot more power than it was ever necessarily meant to hold. So that is another factor I'm considering that maybe could be starting to see a little slipping. The truck doesn't feel like it's slipping, but it is technically an option, uh, something to consider. I am having Nate from Windrunner Performance Engineering send me over a tune for diagnosing stuff. As far as a lot of these tuners mess with how the computer reads boost and how it reads your ICP pressure. So I'm going to get him to send me over a just a tune, it not added power at all, just to diagnose the truck. But again, YouTube, we had an absolute great time out here. So please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Drop a comment down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy our content. And as always, guys, I'll see you later.